Here we are, the fourth and final part of my series about every province in China. Shanghai is surely one of the best known entries on this list, especially if you've been following my channel for a while. It's a directly administered municipality and by most counts, the largest city in China. It borders Jiangsu to the northwest and Zhejiang to the southwest. To its north is the mouth of the Yangtze River as it empties into the sea. To its south is Hangzhou Bay, an arm of the East China Sea. Shanghai is famous for many things. Among them its huge skyscrapers in Lu Jiazui, the European buildings at the Bund and in the French concession, and possibly mainland China's most famous theme park, Shanghai Disneyland. The city is mainland China's biggest financial center. Home to lots of huge bank buildings and the Shanghai Stock Exchange, China's largest. The Shanghai Metro is the longest metro system in the world. If you get outside the central city, you'll also find quaint water towns. Shanghainese people speak Shanghainese, or what linguists often call Wu Chinese. The name Shanghai means on the sea which certainly seems to describe the city's geographic location well. The most common one-character abbreviation is Hu, after an older name for Suzhou Creek, which runs through the city. Also, in some compounds, you'll run into the abbreviation Shen, which derives from an ancient lord, Chun Shen, whose territory included Shanghai. Shanxi is in northern China. And it borders Inner Mongolia to the north, Hebei to the east, Henan to the south, and Shanxi to the west. Its capital and largest city is Taiyuan. There are many famous sites here, particularly religious sites, such as temples and the Yungang grottos, famous for their Buddhist sculptures. The locals speak a variety of Chinese that some linguists classify as a subset of Mandarin, while others consider it to be a separate variety of Chinese, known as Jin Chinese. If it's understood as a separate variety, it would be the only one of these to be found in northern China. The name Shanxi means west of the mountains, referring to the Taihang Mountains found in the province and in Hebei and Henan. In spoken Mandarin, the difference between this province and its western neighbor is in the tone of the first character, Shanxi versus Shanxi. Many English speakers are unable to produce these two tones distinctly, and even if they are, their listeners may not be able to distinguish the difference that is spoken. There is no widely accepted solution to the problem of how to pronounce these two distinctly in English, though their written forms are distinct. The province's one character abbreviation is Jin, after the state of Jin that existed in this area during the spring and autumn period. Sichuan, historically Romanized Sichuan, is in western China. It borders Tibet to the west, Qinghai to the northwest, Gansu to the north, Shanxi to the northeast, Chongqing to the east, Guizhou to the southeast, and Yunnan to the south. Its capital and largest city is Chengdu. Sichuan is famous for many things. Perhaps its greatest international claim to fame is its spicy cuisine, famous for the flavor Ma La, literally numbing spicy due to the peppercorns used in it. Kung Pao chicken is possibly the most famous dish, especially among non-Chinese since it's so popular at Chinese restaurants outside China. Sichuan is also famous as the home of China's most famous animal, the panda. In addition to panda reserves, other famous sites include Mount Emei, the Le Shan Giant Buddha, Jiu Jai Go Nature Reserve, and San Xing Dui, a site with Bronze Age artifacts differing from those found in other parts of China. Most of the things commonly associated with Sichuan are from the eastern part of the province, which is a basin. But the western part of the province is part of the Tibetan Plateau and is largely populated by Tibetans. And therefore, Tibetan is spoken here alongside Mandarin. The name Sichuan consists of two Chinese characters, which would normally be read as four rivers, However, it's also been said that this is a misinterpretation and that it originally meant four plains. Either way, the second character of the full provincial name, Chuan, is also the most common one-character abbreviation. But the province is also sometimes abbreviated as Shu, 
after many kingdoms that have existed here by that name at various times from the Bronze Age to the first millennium AD. Tianjin, historically Romanized as Tianxin, is in northern China and is a directly administered municipality, the last of these on our alphabetical list. It's a coastal city with the Bohai Sea to its southeast. Most of its land border is with Hebei, though there are two sections where the municipality borders Beijing. Like Shanghai, Tianjin hosted many foreign concessions in the late 19th and early 20th centuries, so it can find lots of European architecture in the city. The city is also known for its skyline along the Hai River. That's the original city center, although interestingly, Tianjin now has two separate urban cores, with the second one being in Binhai on the coast. Just east of that core is the port of Tianjin, one of China's biggest, particularly since it serves not only Tianjin, but also Beijing and the surrounding cities in Hebei province. The name Tianjin means heavenly ford, but there are differing accounts of how it got this name. One of the most popular explanations is that it was so named by the Yongle Emperor of the Ming Dynasty when he crossed the Gu River in the area. The one character abbreviation is Jin, the second character of the full provincial name. You can also combine this with the abbreviations for Beijing and Hebei to get the rather alliterative Jing Jing Ji, which is for the entire urban cluster. Tibet is an autonomous region in western China, and it is designated for, as you might guess, the Tibetan people. It's also the least populous provincial division in mainland China. Domestically, it borders Xinjiang to the north, Qinghai to the northeast, Sichuan to the east, and a tiny sliver of Yunnan to the southeast. Its international borders are a small sliver of Myanmar to the southeast, Bhutan to the south, Nepal to the southeast, and three separate borders with India. One between Myanmar and Bhutan, a tiny sliver between Bhutan and Nepal, and a third west of Nepal. This latter stretch of border includes the Indian Union territory of Ladakh, which is claimed by Pakistan. So that country would list itself as bordering Tibet also, though they don't actually control any territory that borders it. Tibet's capital and largest city is Lhasa. Tibet is the only autonomous region of China where the designated ethnic minority actually makes up the majority of the region's population, with about 90% of Tibet's population being Tibetans. A few Han people do live in the region, though, primarily in Lhasa. Tibetan is the most spoken language in the region, though Tibetans often know Mandarin in addition to Tibetan, while the Han minority generally speaks only Chinese. Tibetan is classified by linguists as a Sino-Tibetan language, which means that, unlike most minority languages in China, it's actually a relative of Chinese, albeit a distant one. Tibet has many famous sites, such as the Potala Palace in Lhasa and countless Tibetan Buddhist temples and monasteries. Natural wonders also abound, especially mountains in this Himalayan region, including the northern half of the world's highest mountain, Mount Everest. Though in Tibet and in the rest of China, it's usually known by its Tibetan name, Mount Chumalongma. Tibet itself is known as Bod in Tibetan and Shizang in Chinese, which is a transliteration of the Tibetan name Yuzang, one of the historical provinces that make up Tibet. The second character of this Chinese name, Zhang, is also the one character abbreviation for the region. The English word Tibet is believed to derive from a Turkic word meaning the heights. Xinjiang in western China is the last autonomous region on our alphabetical list and is both the largest and westernmost provincial division in China. It's designated for the Uyghur people, commonly pronounced in English as Uyghur, but I'm told that their native name actually sounds more like Uyghur. It borders Gansu to the east, Qinghai to the southeast, and Tibet to the south, and also borders eight sovereign countries more than any other Chinese provincial division. These countries are Mongolia to the northwest, a tiny sliver of Russia to the north, Kazakhstan to the northwest, and to the west, listed from north to south, are Kyrgyzstan, Tajikistan, and a tiny sliver of Afghanistan. 
while to the southwest are Pakistan and India. Though the former would argue that only Pakistan is to Xinjiang's southwest, since they claim the piece of territory that India administers there. The capital and largest city is Urumqi. Like Tibet, and unlike any other Chinese provincial division, Xinjiang does not have a Han majority. Unlike Tibet, Xinjiang has no ethnic majority at all, with the Uyghur people making up a plurality of the region's population and with only slightly fewer Han people. There are substantial populations of Kazakh and Hui people, with smaller populations of other ethnic minorities, such as Kyrgyz, Tajik, and Mongol people. Both Chinese and Uyghur are official in the region. The latter is a Turkic language, unrelated to Chinese. It's closely related to Uzbek and more distantly related to Turkish. Many of Xinjiang's Han people live in the capital, Urumqi. Outside the capital, the culture is much more Uyghur. Uyghurs traditionally practice Islam, so Xinjiang is known for its many mosques, including China's largest, the Idka Mosque in Kashgar. Uyghur food has elements of both Central Asian cuisine and Chinese cuisine. The name Xinjiang literally means New Frontier, shortened from an earlier name given to it by the Qing Dynasty, Xi Yu Xinjiang, which means Western Region's New Frontier. The first character of the regional name, Xin, is also the region's one character abbreviation. Yunnan is in southwest China. And borders Guangxi to the east, Guizhou to the northeast, Sichuan to the north, and a tiny sliver of Tibet to the northwest. It also has international borders with Myanmar to the southwest, Laos to the south, and Vietnam to the southeast. Yunnan's capital and largest city is Kunming. Yunnan is known for its high population of ethnic minorities. The northwestern part of the province is on the Tibetan Plateau and is populated by Tibetans. Elsewhere in the province, one finds Yi, Bai, Hani, Zhuang, Miao, and many other peoples. Xishuangbana Prefecture in the south of the province, which is designated for the Dai people, is particularly striking in that it looks very much like something you might see in Thailand or Laos. Yunnan also has one of China's only rainforests. The name Yunnan consists of two characters, one meaning clouds and one meaning south. The name dates from the Han Dynasty, but inconveniently, they left us no explanation for the name or of how a place could be south of the clouds. Some argue this means south of the Yunling Mountains, but this is dubious, since the earliest record of those mountains being named that is from hundreds of years after the Han Dynasty. Other theories include that it referred to a cloudy mountain, Tsang Mountain, or that it could derive from an ethnic minority language. In any case, the first character of the provincial name, Yun, is also the most commonly used one-character abbreviation, though sometimes Dian is used. Which comes from Lake Dian near Kunming. And now we reach the end of our list with the very last province alphabetically, Zhejiang. This coastal province in eastern China borders Shanghai to the northeast, Jiangsu to the north, Anhui to the northwest, a bit of Jiangxi to the west, and Fujian to the south and to its east is the East China Sea. The capital and largest city is Hangzhou, and another prominent city in the province is Ningbo. Hangzhou is famous for many things. Probably most prominently the West Lake, though there are other famous sites here, such as the Lingyin Temple and the Liuhe Pagoda. In business, Hangzhou is famous as the headquarters of Alibaba, one of China's tech giants. Ningbo is also famous as a port city since the Tang Dynasty and has architecture dating to that dynasty, such as the Tianfeng Pagoda. More recently developed is the city of Yiwu, which is in the central part of the province and famous for manufacturing. Zhejiang also has one of the longest bridges in the world. The Hangzhou Bay Bridge that crosses, you guessed it, Hangzhou Bay and connects Ningbo with Jiaxing and also allows for faster travel between Ningbo and Shanghai. The name Zhejiang means Zhe River, which is an older name for the Qiantang River that flows through the northern part of the province and empties into Hangzhou Bay. The first character of the provincial name, Zhe, 
is also the one character abbreviation. And that's it. Every province level division of mainland China in four videos. I hope you enjoyed our overview of them. If you did and you want to see more content about China, this would be a great time to like this video and subscribe to my channel. Thanks so much for watching. See you all next time. Bye!